Greetings everyone, here's Lodric again and this is the game Strategic Command World War 1. This is my play by email match against uh, Desert Wolf. This is the scenario of Ludendorff Offensive or the Kaiser Schlacht, the 1918 offensive of the German Empire against the uh, Entente. <coughs> Uh, more or less the uh, hope to capture Paris before the Americans will enter the war in early summer 1918. In the first turn I was able to defeat I think uh, two Portuguese, one British and two Belgian corps and also destroy I think the Belgian artillery. Now let's see how this change. We have bad weather. The British trying to them counter attack air strikes. And some other attacks on my or oh, scouting. So it was okay. Uh, of course, this is the best time for Germany. I must achieve here something quickly early on. So now I get German tanks and some additional infantry. Question is where you want the taxes. Here the weather is so shitty in the north. Here in the source, it is simply very hard to achieve anything with this uh, terrain. So I maybe uh, it's really hard where you want to achieve something. I have here heavy artillery. I could try to maybe strike your source on Tolu and take Nancy from behind. Uh, this will force the French out here. But I'm not so sure. I have... Normally I like to pressure only the British and focus here in the north. Because if I don't attack the French, then all the money the French have, the, I mean the French and the British have uh, not the same budget. So if I pressure the British non-stop, they're running fast out of money. Uh, But I need heavy artillery to support my attacks, that for sure. So I would say I try to keep the pressure here. I put my tanks here. And the. Oh, this is a force. I must put them here. Okay. And this guy must be here. Okay, if you say so. Uh, okay. No choice here on my side. Okay, March 25th. Uh, I have here my artillery. I could bombard here. I have three. So if I want to keep the momentum, I can maybe... I can make a recon attack. Okay, so I recon the area first. Enemy fighters. I have interceptors. I get a gun attack. Fine. So now, still the position is not much better. Okay, I try. One shell hit. No second shell. Okay. I 
put a tick with 3 to 1, this is still a good ratio. Uh, Yacht, Recon Bomber. I could also scout here. And create a one hit. Then my fighter No, my fighter could not so pickily uh, wait. It's always hard to see the difference between a fighter. This is a fighter. And this fighter was already engaged, so I try to attack again. Good. Fighter is too far away from the front line, so I must normally move more forward. But okay, first uh, I can bombard this position. And then I could attack. Fine. Uh, fall back, attack, okay, maybe hold the position, uh, oh, sometimes it's super hard to see, yeah, I could move here forward, Attack the artillery and fall back. And also, ah, I make a mistake to walk here in, but okay. Uh, I move here in and destroy the artillery. Fine. This guy move. No, he has no power. Move backward and entrench. Here I can make a attack. No, not so successful. That is not so successful. Uh, hmm. Really not the best. Okay, I move my artillery forward. Ah, this guy can get the reinforcements. He can move here. The Zeppelin. I cannot enter the hex. I can change your positions, reinforce, upgrade. Move here. Seven shells ready for use. Who is commander of this artillery? Wait, why there is no commander of... Hmm. 
Hmm. Someone is command of this. Ah, here. No, sometimes you cannot see it. So, artillery is ready. So I shell this unit here. One shell I better keep. Oh, two to five. That is, of course, a very powerful attack. But I want to open the front line, so I attack here. Even my level one infantry can attack now. So my mm. no, it's always best to attack enemy HQs. Hmm. I want normal move here in, but I cannot. I can only move with this guy in. Okay, let me do this. We need reinforcements. Reinforcements. These are two shell artillery. This have one shell left. Uh, this is the detachment. Where I need the detachment is the question. Maybe this guy can, I don't know, maybe I move my heavy artillery. No. I normally want to, wait, I can move, no, I cannot move this guy. Okay, what I could do is I move this guy here, move this guy here. May move my HQ here. Heavy artillery here. This guy take over here. Yeah. So the pressure is still strong on the British Belgian forces. No. The weather is really so shitty. And here, I have my fighter. First, I need to upgrade my artillery. Mm. 
before the shells are more or less useless. The fighters are at maximum. Ground attack are at maximum. This artillery need one more upgrade. That's all. These are all level 2 infantry. I also don't make a mistake here. Not that I have outdated equipment. This is a outdated equipment. Upgrade. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I really can. I can buy here anything. Come on, I cannot buy a HQ. Uh, what I need for sure is normally tanks. So I buy a new tank, and I need more fighters. Uh, so what I do here, I know that the enemy, I think artillery is here, I think the HQ was here or here, I don't know, I try here, yeah, I find the HQ, and I was able to hit it once. Um, so this is why you normally need fighter cover near to your HQ because the enemy can also attack you. I think this is all what I can do. My focus is really heavily uh, to create the breakthrough here as a British and push also the Belgian and at the end move here, get this moving, and then maybe turn it around. All of these other units are not so important for me. And Vaudin I completely ignore. And there is also, if you see deeper, one American division already. Oh god. Yeah. Most not possible. The weather stopped me and hampered me. But... Uh, I freed or destroyed the units in the Uh The Belgian are under pressure. I hope this is enough. Let's see what happens next turn. End of turn. Yes. Collecting more money. Yep. Then see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.